is in effect until December 31st, 2021. Based on the fact that it's February 8th, 2022, and based on the exact wording in this paper, this paper is now currently, maybe it's temporary, I don't know, but at least currently right now, the paper is out of effect. All right, guys, so vegan deterioration has made a life-changing discovery here. That life-changing discovery is that position papers and statements are based on the most modern research and that as time goes on, research that was once considered more modern becomes less modern, causing the original writers of a position paper to feel the need to update their position paper so that the paper properly reflects the most or more modern evidence. So let's break this down, guys. When time happens, evidence that was once considered modern becomes less modern. And then because of this phenomenon we call time, researchers who make position statement papers decide to update their papers with more modern research to further back their position. Yes, we are back on this because one of my viewers, citizen journalist, finally, after many months of attempting, finally got a response from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And I'm watching this video back again and seeing how the vegan says, oh, information used to be modern, now it's less modern. But when it comes to veganism, we have to realize that it's all modern. There are things about vegan diets that haven't even been studied yet, especially with regards to children. So then when he says at the end there, they're looking for more information to further back their opinion. Is that what you really want though? Is you want an organization to just further back their opinion rather than being an objective, unbiased, which I don't believe they are, but I'm just saying an unbiased organization that says, okay, let's create a position paper about vegan and vegetarian diets. Let's reestablish our position. Or you want them to continue to find information to further back their opinion. That makes it seem like you're okay with them nitpicking and finding out how they can find papers, studies that show good things and neglecting studies that might show some downsides of a vegan diet because they simply want to further back their already established opinion about this experimental diet for which there are numerous aspects of human health that have not even been studied yet. Anyway, um, so I got a comment, well, not a comment, I got a comment and then I got some DMs from citizen journalists and they finally got a response from the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics about this paper. I mean, is it just simply the, you know, the little date on the bottom went by, but this is still our position until we come out with a new paper? What did they say? Citizen journalists went straight to the A&D, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, on their Instagram and on their Twitter. Their Twitter is Eat Right Pro, and asked them about their expired paper, the paper that says the vegan diet is suitable for all stages of life. And that person did also tell them that the vegans are using this paper and how they're using it. And this was their response. Since the most recent paper expired, the Academy currently does not have a position on vegetarian nutrition. And if you didn't know, that means vegetarian and vegan because that's what the paper is about. A re-examination of evidence for this topic is planned. However, the Academy is recruiting for expert panel members. And citizen journalist wrote back, thank you for clarifying this for me. It has been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming because they were asked about this probably like around six months ago and they Back then, they were still recruiting people for reviewing and re-examining the evidence and creating a new paper. May I suggest the Academy distributes press release so that all stakeholders are on the same page going forward and the EAC invitation is distributed as widely as possible. Basically, tell all these vegans that the vegan diet is only suitable for all stages of life within the dates on that paper. And they said on Instagram they're going to try to put the expiration date like it towards the beginning maybe on the first page making it a little more evident when the paper expires because they were um, notified about how vegans are using this paper and clearly the vegans don't realize that when the paper expires it means that they don't currently have a position on vegan and vegetarian diets also the um, the PDF of the paper has been taken down from their website so right now they don't have a position paper up on their website but they have like all the old papers on their journal website that you can pull up except for one paper which was retracted 
which I might do a video on later. But yeah, there's no paper on their website, and this, just the um, extended amount of time where they're still trying to recruit members for the past six, seven months to re-examine everything, it makes me realize that they don't realize how the vegans are using this paper. If they could see that vegans are using this paper to raise their children and they're using this to argue back with people that say, okay, your kid looks like they have rickets, it looks like they're not growing, they look sick, they will argue back with, they said the vegan diet is suitable for all stages of life and it's expiring. So if you, if this was really your position and you really understood how vegans are relying on this paper like it's their Bible, I would think a year in advance, maybe even two years in advance, you would you would be researching and preparing a next paper so that as soon as one expired you would have the new one out at least within 30 days or something but no there's no rush and they don't owe anyone a paper about a vegan diet they don't have to they're not required to tell you that your vegan diet is okay in no way shape or form they don't have to do that and you should be hoping that if you really do care about yourself and other humans I would think that you would hope that this is going to be an unbiased, large organization of professionals that are going to write their paper and say, okay, let's come together and establish a position on vegan and vegetarian diets based on the most current information. That's completely different from saying, let's reestablish our, our opinion using the most current things that we can find to reestablish and reaffirm and further back like lifting vegan logic further back our position because you can take a position on anything no matter how wrong it is and keep an eye out for the most recent information to further back that and neglect all the information that does not but anyway we're all on the lookout for this paper can't wait to see it maybe they will say the vegan diet is suitable for all stages of life again but for right now it seems like they do not have any position on vegan and vegetarian diets whatsoever at this moment and it doesn't sound like the new paper is coming out anytime soon because it's taken quite a while and they're still um, recruiting people. And that's it.